action. I just thought that she was shy. I mean, I thought that she was a little weird too, kind of, kind of not with it. But mostly, I just, I just thought Chris was so shy. Everybody else did too. Beth thought she was shy. Emily did. Sarah, Lauren, and I guess it kind of became fashionable to talk about her, like. She was a straight-A student, but she didn't dress like us. She didn't act like us. She never dated anybody. She was so singled out. And I don't know. We weren't even sure that she liked boys. I mean, she... Beth comes up to me yesterday, and she tells me that, you know, that Chris is in the hospital. And... I mean, I, I just, when I found out that she tried to commit suicide and we weren't sure if she was even going to live, I mean, I, like, I was shocked. I just thought that she was so quiet. I could never see her trying to do something like that. And then I, I found out that she was talking about that for the last few days before it happened to her friend Deb, who's her only friend. And I just feel like what could have I what could I have done differently in this situation and I talked to my mom about it and my mom told me that it's never too late to to get to know somebody and even if Chris doesn't survive there will always be a Chris around and maybe I can talk to her in the future and make an effort to to know her and maybe I can help her and that can be my indirect way of helping Chris and then maybe someday she can help me back. Captain.